What's up, everybody? My name is Mackie Dobe, and welcome to the Mackie Dobe Saturday Show. Now, before we get into things today, I just want to say that today's episode is going to be a little bit shorter. I've been working on a really tight schedule lately um, with work, YouTube, and then trying to catch up on some homework stuff before the school year starts because I was an idiot and I procrastinated like hell. And uh, now I am paying for it, but that's okay because I got my shit together and we're pretty good. So I was able to keep up with my videos um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, and I'll talk more on that later. Now. My first announcement isn't really much of an announcement, there are three. Um, this first one is more just a question for you guys. If you, if you could watch me play any game, any game whatsoever, on any system, what would that game be? What would you want me to play? It can be anything from like Kingdom Hearts on the PlayStation 2, or like Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation 1, all the way to something on the Xbox One, because we do have one of those, or the PlayStation 4, or even a PC game. What game would y'all want to see me play? Just a question, not going to promise that I'm actually going to play it, but I just kind of want to know for future reference, maybe future series, once I finish certain things. Uh, so yeah, that's my first announcement. My second announcement is that yes, I did do the Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, and it worked fantastic. I've been getting much more views on these videos, much better than the 2s and the 3s. We're getting more like 12s and 13s, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm proud of you guys for watching this stuff. It, it, I just, I, it's a good feeling, you know what I'm saying? Any of you guys who make anything and, you know, content creators of any kind, not just YouTubers, maybe like you write stories and you throw them at people's faces at school or something, I don't know. Um, when, when you get noticed, when people see some of your stuff, it feels good in your heart. My final, my final announcement is one that I am so happy about in in the wee wee hours of the morning I, I woke up at like five in the morning today it happened before that but i checked my phone and i saw that i had two emails to my account that where all my youtube stuff goes and i was like somebody commented on my video i guess and there were two comments one of them was from friend just talking saying my video was good and i appreciate that comment and then the other one was from another friend and they were like hey i'm your hundredth subscriber and i was like Really? You think you're my 100 subscriber? And so I went to my YouTube channel this morning and, uh, sure enough, 100 subscribers. We did it. We've, we've made it to the triples, bro. <laughs> bros and, 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 uh, and lady bros. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so happy about that. Really, it, man. Y'all don't even know how excited I am that we, we finally, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> without further ado, I, uh, I gotta eat a cricket. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Mackie Dobe and welcome to the Nerf Spotlight. Today, we have a Nerf Fire Strike. This is probably the newer version of what I always loved, the Night Finder. Uh, the Night Finder was always one of my favorite guns, it's probably the first Nerf gun I ever owned. And that might be why. Um, so the little gimmick about this blaster is that it's got a red dot sight kind of thing. Not a red dot sight, laser sight, which you activate by pressing this bumper trigger here. I don't have any batteries in it because I can't find double A's at my house right now and traffic is terrible today. So uh, there's no way for me to get out and get any. Um, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You just press this little button there and you point and click. Uh, it, interesting to note on the Night Finder, it used to be you would hold the trigger down halfway and that's how you would get the laser sight. So it's cool that they separated the two. Probably a little better, more tactical. Just like this tactical rail up top does have the push in. That's neat, little branding here, Fire Strike Elite, Nerf, and Strike Elite, so this is an Elite Blaster. You prime it just by pulling this tube, or pulling this tube, pulling this tab, and then inside the plunger tube, it's, uh, the compressed air begins. And so, I've loaded a, uh, just an End Strike Elite dart, I don't know, like the technical term, and I uh, will just take, just take a shot here. This is a level shot. 
fantastic range. Far superior to that of the strong arm, believe it or not. Another level shot. That one was slightly worse. And then final dart, angled shot. Woo! Oh, it's on the roof. It landed on the roof. And then suddenly, just like that, my camera died. Yes, that's right. The video cuts off right after me screaming, it's on the roof because my camera died. And uh, because I'm on such a tight production schedule today, I can't wait for it to be charged uh, to try and film that again. And it might not be as legitimate seeing as though the dart went to the flipping roof. I don't know if I could um, recreate that with as much... Uh, excitement as I did. Granted, I don't think I was that excited, but you get the idea. I don't want to like be disingenuine. That's not my thing. Um, so I would just run down my initial thoughts of the blaster real quick for the fire strike, and uh, that would be to say I like it a lot. I mean, it reminds me of the Night Finder, which was my first blaster, one of my favorites, and it is just super nice, really nice distances. The plunger tube's got a nice feel to it. You know, you pop back and bada bing, bada boom. So, uh, it's, all in all, it's a good gun, I got it for ten bucks, I definitely think it's worth buying for ten dollars, that's, that's good, good stuff. Comes with three darts, does not come with the batteries, which is a stinker, but it does take two AAA batteries, keep that in mind, it's not AA, it is AAA. Um, at first I was like, two AA batteries, that's what it says in the guide book thing, and I tried to shove them in there and it didn't fit. Uh, so, yeah, keep that in mind, but. That's all I really have to say about that gun. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the drink of... The drink of the... Week, drink of the week, baby. It's time for the drink of the week. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And this week, we have Fentimins, established in 1905, traditionally brewed full-bodied shandy, less than 0.5 percent alcohol by volume. It is self-proclaimed one of the best non-alcoholic beers ever. All right, shandy with traditionally brewed beer, best before sea neck. Best before. It's not saying, John. What should I do? Be the man you're meant to be. I miss my dog. Alright, so, um. I guess I'll read some of the facts. Ingredients De alcoholized beer. Okay, 70% malt, sugar, hops, yeast, and water. Carbonated water. Granulated sugar, lemon juice, lemon flavor, citric acid. So this is lemon flavored, serving size one bottle. This is lemon flavored. It is a beer, but it is non-alcoholic. I don't really like beer, actually. So we will see what I think of this shandy. It's twist off. Bing, bing. The wisps of, you know, yeah. Smells like beer. <laughs> no officer, I swear it's non alcoholic, you say when you're driving down the road drinking one of these. Alright, bottoms up. Oh. Hey, no, this isn't bad. This is, this is not bad at all, actually. It's very, it's sweet. Sweeter than I remember beer being. I remember when I was little, my friend, we would just go to these bonfires, my friend, he would always ask his dad, he's like, can I have a little tiny bit of beer, a little tiny bit at the bottom of the bottle, like, a shit at the end, and dad's all, yeah, and so when I asked my dad, I'm like, hey, can I have some of the bottom, dad's like, sure, horrible, spit it up, it's just disgusting, um, so obviously this, um, still kind of has that disgusting beer taste, but it's got a sweetness that goes with it. Um, which kind of redeems it in a sense. But still, if you don't like beers, you're probably not going to like this. I mean, the more I drink it, the more I taste that, that kind of 
bitter flavor. Like, here's the thing about this drink. I'm drinking it now. It's not too bad. But I honestly cannot see myself buying this and thinking, yeah, I'm going to get this just to drink it, you know? It's not It's not the kind of drink. If I just saw it on a shelf, I wouldn't be like, hey, I, I want that. Where it's like a Coca-Cola, you know, a Sprite, uh, any of the other drinks that I've had that I really enjoyed, some of the, you know, like fancier root beers that I've had, things like that. I might see one of those and go, yeah, I want that. And I'd buy it and I'd drink it. But this... I mean, I'm probably never going to buy it again, unless I do it for a video or something, or like it's the only option. It's good, but it's not amazing. So, for that reason, I'm going to have to rate the Fentiman's Shandy a solid 3 out of 5 bottles. Introducing the brand new Mackie Dobe action figure. Yes, that's right, your favorite YouTuber, no not B00, Game Grumps, or Markiplier, Mackie Dope, now has his very own action figure. We took a photo of his head and shoved it onto a Halo figure. He has space soldier armor on, so he is ready for anything. But mind the gap, because this hero isn't rocking a helmet. Punch back in the face to hear one of 420 recorded lines of Mackie Dope's classic catchphrases like, I'll tell you what, don't dream it's over. Drink of the week of the drink of the dr Do I need to censor that? I will kill you in your sleep. Welcome to the Mackie Dub Saturday Show. Do you feel like action figures are too small? This one is as big as the Eiffel Tower. Order now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for the Saturday Show this week. I really hope you all enjoyed it, and I, uh... I'm really excited about these hundred subscribers. Uh, that's that's awesome. All of you. I'm. I don't think all a hundred are gonna watch this video, but to all of you that do see it, thank you so much for your viewership. It means a lot to me. Like if I'm gonna be honest, it it uh it means a lot that what I do is noticed by people that I like and people in general. It's just cool. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you. In another video. Uh huh. I don't know what was shot. That one was slightly worse. And then, final doubt, it was shot. Oh, it's on the roof. It landed on the roof.